Hello everyone, this is the explanation video about the straw in a brook. As you can see I have drawn a straw over here and water is flowing against it, which is V3. And I have drawn points 3, 2 and 1. The water level in the straw is to the top of the straw. And this is 5 centimeters above the water level of the brook. So the straw is 10 centimeters underneath the water level. Then I will going to use Bernoulli equation to calculate the velocity of our brook. But first we need to calculate the overpressure at point 2, which was also one of the exercises. For this we have to realize that P1, so the pressure at point 1, is atmospheric since this is just exposed to the air. Then I will take a look to point 1 and point 2, which is on a certain flow line. Remember, I may only use the Bernoulli equation on a certain flow line. I draw it right here between point 1 and point 2. Then I can write down the Bernoulli equation, which is the height at point 1 times g plus the velocity at point 1 squared plus the pressure at point 1 over the density is equal to exactly the same but then at point 2. I know that the water is not moving inside of the straw so I can rule out those velocities and I can rewrite the equation to g times the difference in height between the two points is equal to the pressure of point 2 minus pressure at point 1 divided by rho, the density. And I can rewrite it again to I can get an equation for point 2 or better the pressure of point 2 and it is exactly like this. Then I can fill in the numbers. I know them all and so this is 100,000 pascals times the density times g times the difference in height which is 0 0.15 meters. We have to get the units right of course. This is then 101,500 pascals. But to calculate the overpressure you have to calculate it in another way and this is p2 minus p1 which is 1,500 pascals. Our next question was, what is the velocity of the little brook? And for this I have to take a look into point 2 and point 3. These points are also on the same flow line. But now I have more information about point 2, so I can also calculate more about point 3. This is why we need to calculate the overpressure first. So I can write the Bernoulli equation again, but now for point 2, and point 3, so only the numbers are different. And this time there is no velocity of point 2 as we saw earlier, but there is also no height difference between point 2 and point 3, so we can rule those out. Rewrite the equation V3 squared is the pressure at point 2 minus the pressure at point 3 divided by the density. Now you have to realize that point 3 is 10 centimeters underneath the water line and therefore 1000 pascals is added up to the atmospheric pressure. As you can see as we fill in the numbers. Now if you calculate this, P3 squared is 0 0.5 and then P3 is the root of 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.71 meter per second. So this is the velocity of our little book. I hope this has enlightened you about this subject and good luck with the other exercises.